Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 12-year-old pitcher who's having complaints of pain on the medial aspect of the elbow. The uh, physician thought it was probably a tear of the UCL ulnar collateral ligament. And so this is just a really quick look at an injury of the UCL in this patient. And on the outside here, this is the lateral side of the elbow. To get oriented, this is the inner or medial side where the UCL will be in this area. And you can see this brightness. This is where I did an arthrogram, so a little bit of edema from the lidocaine here. Injected contrast here, which is white. It fills the joint, and it also goes around to the lateral side here. And this is the humerus to get oriented. This is the radius. And then the ulna back here, this long bone. So radius and ulna in the forearm, humerus in the uh, arm. So now we're going to take our attention over to here. This linear band is the ulnar collateral ligament. It attaches from the ulna here up to the humerus here. This bony protuberance, this is the medial epicondyle. And we see that the medial epicondyle has a little bit of brightness. And this view, marrow should be dark, like right here. Fat is suppressed. This is subcutaneous fat that's dark. Marrow is dark. And right here, there's a little subtle area of brightness, which is abnormal. The linear band here, this is the growth plate. You can sometimes have a little signal adjacent to the growth plate. In growing uh, patients, this is just too much. And it's right where that UCL attaches. So. Really just on this, this image and this image we see the problem. The ulnar collateral ligament here comes up. The humeral attachment looks within normal limits. There's a little tiny collection of contrast that goes down there, but it's very, very subtle. But the, the mid and distal portions look grossly intact. But the attachment up here, there's a posterior band, which we're looking at here. It comes up. It fans out a little bit and attaches to this horizontal ridge, the undersurface of the medial epicondyle. And right where it attaches, it's too bright, too foggy. It looks like the um, ligament fibers are bunched up ever so slightly. So this is a partial tear of the ulnar collateral ligament, the posterior band, and a little bit of reactive marrow edema. It's, again, maybe distracted ever so slightly. It's not completely torn off, but at least a partial tear of the UCL. And then the anterior band, usually we go one cut forward like this. We see a linear band coming here. Well, the anterior band, I just don't see that in him. So it may be partially torn or attenuated. Maybe I just can't see it. But um, in the end, this is an ulnar collateral ligament tear involving the posterior band at the attachment to the medial epicondyle with reactive marrow edema. And then the distal attachments, a lot of times, are torn right from here, from the sublime tubercle of the humerus. Um, but in this case, it's torn proximally. And that's it. Thank you so much.